Oh, hello everyone. So, Curtis, meet, no name yet. So, I was at the Veterans Thrift Store today, DAV. Came across the Yuffie 11S Max. I'm so excited, guys. I've never owned an actual Yuffie Robovac. I've only heard of them. Um, it doesn't come with a remote, but it came with a charging dock. I don't even know if it works or not. Got it for 25 bucks. I think it's an amazing steal. So, here's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to plug it in and give her a test run. The dock has light, which is obviously a good thing. So let's flip her over, turn it to the on position, and plug her in. Sorry on the camera, she flickers really bad. Yeah, that's better. But that's how she's gonna sit for now, I guess. Let's let her charge up. Alright guys, taking her mostly apart. Just to get a good clean. Um, I got some alcohol wipes here. So I'll get you guys back when I clean her. And yes, I know I just said I'm gonna let her charge. First I thought it was better to clean her because she kind of stinks just a little right, bit. guys, it's been a whole day since I filmed her. Curtis, um, and tomorrow my replacement battery is coming because you guys will see in a minute. Yep, there it goes. She'll turn red like that. I've looked it up online. The best conclusion I've come to is that her battery is faulty. So you can see on the indicator her light lights up, but here it's red. Then the minute I press it, watch what happens. Just dies. So then I put her back on. And she starts to charge. And after like a few minutes, she'll go red again. So, I ordered a replacement generic battery off Amazon. Um, I've given her a good cleaning. So the battery's coming. Now, let's just say the battery fixes her. She's working great, I need to get Basement brushes, because this one's all the brush bristles are broken off. And then on this guy, it's just really worn. Um, and on the bin as well, the filter is really gross. I cleaned it with water, but it's disgusting. And it doesn't smell that bad anymore. I mean, it still smells, but like not bad. So, yeah, and oh, and also the remote. Yeah, um, since I got this guy from the thrift store for only $25. Really proud of myself for finding that um, dealer, you know, really happy with it. Or her. Um, so, yeah, guys. Um, I guess, well, you know what? Let's actually open up the battery compartment on her. And then I'll get to you guys. Or, you know, let's just do it together. I'll grab my screwdriver. Sorry, I'm filming on my iPhone. Which I still need to do a review on, by the way. <clears throat> And it's nowhere near as wide as my GoPro Hero 9 Black with the Max Lens mod. So I'm like really struggling to film on this guy. So just gonna unscrew this screw. Oh! Oh my gosh, it just fell in that crack. I hope I didn't just lose that screw. Okay, wait, I'll get back to it. Alright, did not lose the screw. So then there's one more screw. So there's that one. There's also this guy. Take out the screw and put it in my screwdriver container. All right, let's open up this container. Glass Max. So there's the battery. It's honestly, it's so weird because I was comparing the Ufi 11S Slim, not the Max, but the Slim versus the Roomba 694 when I was looking for a Roomba originally for a robot vacuum. And I decided on Curtis 694, Roomba 694, um, because it just, it's a better brand in my opinion, honestly. They're just better products. But um, basically what I'm trying to get to is that 
uh, Yuffie and Roomba, these two models, have very similar battery life. Like, I don't know exactly which one's longer. But if you guys have ever seen a Roomba battery, look at this thing. Like, this Yuffie battery is teeny tiny. Like, like, literally. It's really small. That's my point. And, um, the Roomba battery is, like, double the size. Excuse me. But, um, they both have very similar run times. So, either... This battery has more capacity in the smaller space, or it's a smaller capacity, but the UV is more efficient. So you take out the battery, it's got these little pull tabs, and then right in there, now your guys' will have um, this little black cover over the connection. I just took it off because it was being a pain in the butt. Um, to try and, you know, yeah, <laughs> undo the connection. So, I'm just gonna pull out the little top part. So, let me do that really quick. Set you guys to the side for just a moment. And, yeah. There y'all go. Old connection. There it is. This. So, this is... Hopefully the bad battery. I really hope that that's the issue with this guy or gal because um Yeah, it's just <laughs> I ordered a replacement $17 right there so Like I said, it's coming tomorrow. So I'm just gonna slap this lid on just like that leave her right there and Then leave these two screws in this compartment right there and yeah, you know, I think that's it for now. Oh, yeah, and about the remote. Oh, I really like how Yuffie's designed them to fit in the dock. I think that's really cool, personally. Um, So you can get one off Yuffie's website for $10 free shipping. So that's really impressive, honestly. That's really cheap. So, enough yabbering. Yeah, I will see you guys tomorrow. Toodles. All right, guys. Battery for the Yuffie 11S Max is here so let's open it and put it in all right guys here's the new battery very similar to the old one just plug it in and i'll get back to you guys put in the new battery in her it's all in and she's lighting up it's a very good sign so let's turn her on Yeah. Cool. So let me do some further testing. Make sure everything's working properly on her. But for now, that'll be it.